Hello everyone, today I'm going to show the most important tips and tricks that you need to know to improve your gameplay with the new champion Belvet. Belvet's Q hitbox is bigger than the spells indicator. The Q dash can deal damage to multiple opponents and the damage is almost the same for all opponents. When you are at the base, you can use her Q to get to the other lanes faster. Before level 6, when you don't have your true form, you can go through walls with Belvet's Q. But once you gain your true form from the Void Coral, you will be able to go through walls. When you want to hit someone with Q who is further away from you, use Flash first, then Q. If you play Belvet in top or mid lane against melee champions, you can trade early with Q and auto attack and then use Q to escape from your opponent. Use her Q to dodge enemy abilities or to escape from your opponents. The hitbox of Belvet's W is more than the spells indicator. Her W can deal damage to multiple opponents and the damage is almost the same for all opponents. You can use W through walls to deal damage to your opponents. With Belvet's W you can reset her Q dashes. But which direction of the dash will be reset depends on which direction you hit the target with W. If you hit two targets with W you will reset two Q dashes. You can also reset all 4 dashes of Belvet's Q. To do this trick, you need to hit 4 opponents with W and then use Flash between them. When you want to hit someone with W who is further away from you, use Flash first, then W. Her W can be used to check the bushes for enemies. If you hit a hidden enemy there, you will hear a specific sound. The hitbox of Belvet's E is more than the spells indicator. Her E will prioritize to attack the target with the lowest health. You can use E through walls to deal damage to your opponents. When you want to hit someone with E who is further away from you, use Flash first, then E. Belvet's E keeps your character in one place, but if you need to escape from your opponent, you can use other abilities to cancel your E. Her E can be used to reduce the damage from tower shots. With Belvet's E you can attack invisible opponents. Her E can be used to check the bushes for enemies. If an enemy is hiding there, your E will start attacking the target and will gain conqueror stacks. After using an ability, you will be able to go through minions for a short period of time. Once you reach level 3, the basic trading combo is Q, Auto Attack, W, Auto Attack, Q, Auto Attack, E, Auto attack. After you level up your ultimate and if you kill an enemy champion, dragon, rift herald or baron, they will drop a void coral. But if you haven't attacked the target before it dies, it won't drop a void coral. When you pick up the void coral, it will deal damage to nearby opponents. The damage will be the same for all opponents. Also when you pick up the void coral, you will heal yourself and you will be able to continue fighting in team fights. But if you pick up the Void Coral under an enemy tower, the tower's aggro won't reset. You can use Top Watch while dashing with Q and still deal damage to the target. If you hit an enemy with Auto Attack Q or E, you will mark him and you will be able to determine which target is the real one. In team fights, if the enemy team has a lot of CC, wait for your team to engage. Also look for opportunities to flank the enemy team and find the squishy enemy champions. Try to pick up every Void Coral to heal yourself and to deal damage to multiple opponents. If you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe.